John Bushbaum, this video is for you. This ain't no clickbaity title or anything. John Bushbaum came on one of my videos, asked me to redo a test, basically said it was completely invalid because of the results. So here I am giving you the results. I've personally nothing against John or Torque Motorsports. I've never interacted with them. You know what I mean? So I can't say anything about them. I read some stuff online, some negativity. I also have friends and people that I know that are happy with his tunes, his tunes, his service and everything. I just chose Euro Compulsion. I went with them. I'm happy with them. I'm sharing my experience with them. You know what I mean? I got people saying, you know, why are all your videos about Euro Compulsion like the tune? Uh, you must represent that. You don't need that. You can go with Blue Spark, all this stuff. It's like, um, you realize my video literally says Euro Compulsion Phase 1 First Impressions. What do you expect that video to be about? I have an EC tune, Euro Compulsion, I'm going to be sharing that. Can't talk about Torque or the Blue Spark and the boxes and the this and the that. I don't have that. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have a video on other stuff because I don't have any experience with that. I chose Euro Compulsion, happy with their service, happy with their products, and that's about it. So just to cover a little backstory, I had a video which I'll post up here. You could watch the original one. It's a stock versus Euro Compulsion Phase 1 tune. It's my car doing the test with some draggy and some other data, calculating the times in third gear, going from 30 to 75. The whole point of this was to minimize variables, no shifting, no nothing, so I can see the performance increase just from one gear up and down. What I couldn't control was the temperature. It was uh, 18 degrees difference according to John 20. So Again, no interaction with John or Torque Motorsports, nothing against them, until recently when he went on one of my videos and like I said, discredited everything. I'll put the comments on screen right now and I'll kind of go over it real quick. He said the 20 degree difference screwed any viable results from this test. 20 degrees in sub-freezing temps gonna make a 20 wheel horsepower difference alone. Need to retest when temps come back and get validated results. I responded, if you want to pause and kind of read the whole thing, but very short, I just basically said, yeah, you know, I couldn't control that. I did take the density altitude into consideration. I did adjust the numbers to make the car slower, believe it or not, according to those density altitude calculators that I found. And I said, if you have any data or information about this, as far as temperature and performance, et cetera, let me know so I can use it going forward because that's what I want to do. I'm trying to minimize as many variables as possible. He didn't, didn't like acknowledge any of that and just answered with one sentence saying, do test over in spring and post results after that. So luckily I didn't have to wait till spring to catch a 45 degree day, although spring's not too far away. Caught one the other day, did a test, same exact thing. Um, third, you know, third gear, bottom to top, that was the whole point, minimizing everything. And now even the temperature is identical, 45, same exact thing as the first one. If you're interested in some merch, Enjoy boost, smoke tires, not drugs, do you even shift? Your boyfriend's car runs in 87, all different stuff, mugs, hoodies, shirts, everything is live on drivendistrict.com. Great way to support the channel or just if you wanna pick up some cool merch, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. We're gonna be doing some giveaways coming up. I have a lot of content coming. You guys all know I love the numbers, this and that, analyzing everything, some other cars on the channel. So is it gonna be slower? Logic says it is, you know, 18, 20 degree difference, sub-freezing temps, and logically, it was slower. But is it John Logic 20 wheel horsepower slower? Let's dive in and take a look. Let's look at the results. All right, so first we're gonna be going over the speedometer, and then we're gonna dive into the draggy data, go over some hard numbers, and see what it picked up. So what we have here on the left-hand side is basically my stock from the first video and on the right we have the phase one which i called the original run from the first video so the left and the right is what would be in the first video that was the comparison the one that john discredited saying that 27 degrees compared to 45 was a 20 wheel horsepower difference and it's not valid which to me 20 wheel horsepower that was more like a blanket statement he didn't even come back with anything when i asked him about that as far as data how he came across that now, what's new is this middle run, which I did the other day, which I caught a 45 degree day, the same as stock, it's still phase one. Nothing has changed besides it is warmer out. And that's what John was upset about saying the results were invalid. So let's go ahead, let's move this down a bit. We're gonna press play. The most important thing to do is I started gassing it well below 30 anyway, but if we scroll up a little bit right here, you're gonna notice all of them are halfway covering that 30 marker and one more frame you see they're in line all of them are in line this is how i know it's as accurate as a you know test that i can do so we're gonna hit play we're gonna see what happens
So to 50, they're pretty, pretty close. These two right here and the stock one is obviously still behind. To 60, a little bit quicker. You know, 27 degrees sub-freezing temps, I do agree. It's going to be a little quicker. I don't know about 20 wheel horsepower quicker, but check the stock. It's still, you know, a lot slower than the two of them. Let's go all the way up to 75. That's where the test ended. They're almost identical. If I scroll back just a hair, you're going to notice the 27 degree one hits the 75 marker a little bit quicker, but I'm talking about like a hair quicker, a hair quicker compared to stock, which is what, between 65 and 70, closer to the 65 marker still. So like I said, I love numbers, data. I love doing these tests. I just put it out there. You guys let me know what you think. I tried to minimize the results as best as possible. John asked me to redo the test. I just delivered. Here you go. Now we're going to dive into the draggy and we're going to go over some hard numbers like actual seconds and how long it took to go from 30 to 75 and all these other different things. We're going to go over all the variables as far as temperature and density, altitude, slope, everything. Let's go into that. So real quick, we're going to cover the first and second run from the original video. We're going to skim through this super fast. I, I go over this in the first video. This is the runs from the draggy from the first run stock. Key points to look into are going to be temperature, density altitude if it's valid which it is and slope if it's higher it should be a little bit slower because the road surface is going up i also put them in an easier to read spreadsheet like this which is going to kind of just make it easier to see now this was phase one last time again comparing it from last time notice the da is negative 1400 so even lower and if it's lower you're going to be quicker which it was quicker I don't know how much, but I did use a density altitude calculator to make my run slower because of this. Uh, again, slope, everything valid, all that stuff. Temperature, yes, 28 degrees, not 45. Again, put it in an easier to read spreadsheet. We'll cover that later. And now here are the results I wanna focus on. This was the new run, phase one. Like I said, the car, nothing was touched on the car. The difference was it was 45 degrees according to the iPhone, actually 46 according to the draggy. If anything, it's warmer. The density altitude was negative 134, almost at zero, considering the other one was negative 1400 and negative 400. So I am so much higher here. Yeah, I'm not even going to adjust to make my car faster, which technically I should since I adjusted to make my car slower last time. But just to keep it the way it is, I'm going to not even try to make it faster. I'm going to go off the hard numbers that I got right here. Another variable slope. I was actually going uphill a little bit. The road was exactly the same, but I had to guess a little bit later. So if we real quick, just hop back to the other one, just to take a look, you're going to see the slope here was like negative six, negative or 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.26. You're going to see it kind of the green line here is the slope in the road. So it kind of goes down a little, kind of goes up a bit. So if you're going down a little percent and you go back up that same percent, the average is going to be zero. You go down a little, go up a little. You know, the average, you're about zero. You're almost flat, close to being flat. I did it on the same road, but I probably started hitting the gas a little bit later. Let's say around here where it started going up and then it kept going up. Now, if we hop over to the newest results, you're going to see that's what happens. I'm flat and then it goes up, flat goes up, flat goes up. Uh, if you didn't see the first video, just so you know, this 35 to 70, 30 to 70, 30 to 75, it's all one single run in third gear. I just set these different parameters in the draggy to try and get a little bit more data within that same run because you can set your own parameters. So I just did this at one run. So we have temperature the same, if not warmer. We have the DA an outrageously amount higher and we have slope being in an increase compared to in a decrease instead of negative what is it 0.6 or something it's plus 0.6 so we're at like a one percent increase difference almost compared to the other one and here are the numbers again going over now the only other variable is the humidity was less it was 32 percent the other one i think it was um was it 70 so now we're going to dive in and i'm going to put this all together in one spreadsheet i hope it's not too confusing and you guys can let me know what you think of everything. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you think I did the best I could to bring some valid data and try minimizing the results. So what we have here, I know it's a lot. We'll try to make it easy, okay? Right here, 
what I have is stock from the first run, okay? This is the same exact thing. So basically these two runs are identical because this is what we're comparing on the left. Stock, third gear pull, same temperature, same date. All these numbers are exactly the same, okay? This was from the first run, which I made slower by taking the DA variable. I took that into consideration. I used a calculation that I found online and made the car slower. And even with making the car slower from 30 to 75, I was a little over 1.5 seconds faster from stock to phase one. Now we have the new data. This is the new one, phase one, second run, 45 degrees according to the iPhone, 46 on the draggy. We just went over the data on this. So if we look at this, the slope is more, Temperature is identical to the first run. Let's just compare this at this point, okay? This is the old results. This is the new results. 30 to 75, negative 1.4 instead of negative 1.54. That is so close. Considering I'm on a positive slope and yes, the humidity is less, not by a ton though, because yes, the original run was 77, but that is not changing. This does not change. Comparing the old run and the new run, this doesn't change. The first run was 58% humidity, this was 32. Not a huge difference. The main thing was the temperature, going from, if we go with the iPhone, 27 to 45, which is the same here. So take it for what it is. From my results, the Euro Compulsion Tune, pulls hard it pulls strong do the sub freezing temperatures help to a degree you know like i said logically they should and it does but not by much even at 45 the car still pulled numbers that were not too far off what you want to compare is these right here and these right here from 30 to 75 being the broadest lowest end of you know third gear give or take i think it's around 30 2500 rpm or so all the way up to 75 miles per hour which is near red line one and a half seconds a hair over and 1.4 seconds faster to me that's not a 20 wheel horsepower difference considering the other variables that are in effect so that's going to end it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed this data how i put everything together i have some other ones with 40 to 100 i actually redid that test as well it's gonna be coming out soon so be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with that some other cars are going to be doing this test on as well like i said if you want to support the channel go ahead and subscribe like comment share all the good stuff that youtube wants you could also go to drivendistrict.com the website is live we have a ton of stuff i hope you guys enjoy the merchandise we're going to be doing some giveaways soon be sure to follow me on instagram and leave a comment below let's talk cars that's what i'm all about let me know what you think of these results let me know what you think of your compulsion torque any other tuners out there whatever you have in mind let's talk cars and i'll catch you guys in the next video.